Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, well, they came to a little conclusion, um, at least the Americans, and not only, it seems like the Poles as well, stating that, uh, confirming actually, that um, the rockets fired, or the missiles fired in Poland, coming from, they thought, uh, the Russians' um, source, actually our missiles are 300 uh, missiles of s300 and they were fired by the ukrainian uh, defense systems trying to shoot down russians russian missiles sent or fired from russia if you uh, remember yesterday and uh, the day before russia launched a massive uh, missile attack on Ukraine. They shot to, in the direction of Lviv, uh, which is closer to the um, Polish border, but the Russians say we didn't shoot near the border, uh, it's about 30 some miles east of the border. So we, it was not us. Now the fragments that the Polish uh, investigators photograph, fragments of the um, two missiles, were identified as being S-300s and they are um, Ukrainian. They, we have a lot of... Um, why? Because the Russians could not shoot the 300 uh, over there or whatever they uh, investigated. Uh, we have a lot of uh, reports here, a lot of statements uh, re uh, related to the issue. Let's start with the first one. They're not only from um, this media that I'm using now, this is a Russian media, but you find it everywhere else saying the same thing. Um, obviously, the Ukrainian media is playing down this incident. The problem is, if this is true, that it was not the Russians, but it was the Ukrainians, now will NATO act the same way it was about to act against Russia? And if not, why not? Because there were, there were talks that um, NATO, um, actually Poland, will, uh, you know, say, okay, we want to activate an Article 5 or Article, Article 4 or whatever. It's the one that uh, uh, one country is attacked, everybody else is uh, responding, uh, the, the rest of the defensive alliance NATO. So that was the talk. There was a talk about, oh, we're going to put a... Uh, no-fly zone over the over Ukraine. Now, will all that be uh, still available and uh, on the table since Poland, the NATO member state, was attacked? Uh, don't hold your breath on that one. So, this article comes from Sputnik and it says it's from today, um, the 16th of November 2022. This is the title. Polish president admits high possibility that rocket which fell near country's border is Ukrainian. Now, it says here that uh, he says that who was responsible for launching this missile? Missile? We have no evidence that the missile was fired by the Russian side, Duda the, uh, told a briefing. So that's one. Then we have uh, Berlin, it says Germany and NATO not considering introduction of no-fly zone over Ukraine. Um, on what kind of uh, grounds, I would like to know. Now it says, Belgian Ministry of Defense. Belgian, I don't know why not, I don't know, uh, Mogadishu in Somalia or something. Belgian says, Polish explosion likely caused by Ukrainian air defense missile. Uh, explosion. Then he says, uh, this is the most concrete one. Biden informs G7 and NATO that Poland incident caused by Ukrainian missile defense. So if they said so, everybody's going to say yes, sir. He says, photos of rocket fragments found in Poland and published on November 15th identified as elements of Ukrainian S-300. Russian Minister of Defense says, the photographs, and I'm quoting, the photographs of the wreck, wreckage found in the village of Przewodov, <laughs> is Przewodov, 
I'm guessing like something like that, published in Poland on the evening of November 15, were ambiguously identified by Russian specialists of the military industrial sphere as elements of a surface to air guided missile of the 300 air defense complex of Ukrainian military, the ministry said in a statement. Well, uh, that's what you say, but everybody else said uh, uh, and it was not Russian. So, missile, missile that struck Poland was fired by Ukrainian troops to shoot down Russian missile, reports say, citing US officials. So, the missile that fell in Poland was fired by Ukrainian troops to shoot down a Russian missile as per preliminary data, US media reported on Wednesday citing US officials. Um, I don't know if you remember the it was a lot of uh, talk yesterday that um, actually today that oh my god this um, uh, what should we do is going to be um, it's going to be war will NATO intervene uh, nothing will be uh, as, as I said what what's going to happen now what now Ukrainian missile responsible for Poland blast this is from Jeru Jerusalem Jerusalem post today, the 16th of November, Biden says and NATO also says. So, what's next? I'm trying to find another article here. I know uh, there's more to some weasels who immediately jump to, immediately jump to blame Russia for the, for the missile attacks. As I said, that could have been just an accident if the Russians would have done it. And um, the reaction, NATO immediately scrambled, uh, Poland, um, blah, blah, blah. Yes, see, the Russians, what are we going to do? And I said yesterday in one of my videos that um, now NATO will use this as a justification for a blank check. They can do whatever now because uh, with this quote-unquote proof, uh, that the Russians hit, uh, they can take it as an uh, active shoot, in a way, it was active, but uh, in a um, intentional or as an ac accident. If they take it as an accident, they could still say, well, in order to further uh, uh, make sure this is not going to happen, we have to move some installation in uh, Ukraine um, or the border somewhere, something, or a justification for them to a reason to bring more sophisticated if they didn't send it yet uh, military air defense systems if they would have been considered uh, you know um, that was an as, as an accident and then we take it as an intentional then yes we can do this we can do that but I don't think they want to get involved with Russia they want to get involved but they don't want to be part of it they don't want to get involved like uh, troops against troops uh, because there could be missiles falling in uh, their countries and I don't think they want that um, for now. It depends. Uh, why I say for now? It depends how low they want us to get with our lives and they, they will create a panic and a situation in such a way that they can get power. So if they would get to that point where the Russians you know, drop three missiles on some capitals, let's say in the, in the Western Europe, uh, then uh, the governments in those countries obviously will institute whatever, whatever policy and whatever they will grant themselves any power they want. And the population, the weasels here, the weaklings, the pussified society, that's what we live. We, this is not all of it, but they try to pussify us. And I'm saying it seriously. They try to get us weaker and weaker and weaker. Any environment that it's being created for us, it's an artificial environment, which is very pampered, very protected, which is okay to a certain extent, but that destroys creativity, that, that, that destroys entrepreneurship, that destroys courage. You just stay home and consume and smoke your weed and watch your stupid games and drink your beer and fuck here and there. And that's your life. Go and work whenever and if you don't, can't work, we're gonna get the reach to pay it for you, the taxes and your programs. Otherwise, when we get run out of that, we're gonna go for their money, we're gonna get the money and after that, gonna kill one another because uh, that's how the society's the civilization goes I hope we don't get to that point but uh, it certainly goes that that direction so um, it's good that uh, NATO and um, United States at least 
took this path of a little bit, hey, calm down. Uh, we don't know yet. It was yesterday. We're going to investigate. The polls did the same, the same thing. So I, um, I'm very happy that they uh, were, did not act crazy and political and with uh, just ideological, uh, you know, stupidity. And uh, I'm glad that they figured out. I, I mean, if it was the Russians, it was the Russians. But I, I could see that only as an accident. All right, we'll see what's next. Uh, guess what the Ukrainians say about this? Well, that's for the next video. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.